Hello from Austria. I'm Michael Feinberg. I'm the director of the Zero Project. And hello, I'm Sima Mundakal and I'm responsible for research at the Zero Project. We're both very happy to be part of the UNESCO uh, conference on ICT education and employment opportunities for persons with disabilities, although not virtually. But what we're going to do uh, in the next 10 minutes is we're going to give you 10 outstanding innovative practices and innovative policies that are related to your topic. What is the Zero Project? The Zero Project is um, a research and communication project of the Esla Foundation from Austria. Uh, what we do is we focus intensively on researching using a worldwide network of experts for, uh, using um, all kind of communication technologies um, that uh, result in a final selection of 50 to 70 innovative policies and innovative practices every year on, on uh, defined topics like education, like employment, like independent living and like accessibility. That's what we basically do. And we're going to start now with the first innovative practice. Okay, Sima, now let's start with the first out of 10 and let me uh, underline that this is no ranking, but all are on the same level. We give you a brief information on all of the 10. Um, and if you want to know more, just visit our websites. You find much more information on all of them. So Sima, the first one that we're going to present is Plan Viva Digital from Colombia. Thank you, Michael. Um, so Plan Viva Digital is a national plan that Colombia has come up and its aim is to increase both uh, availability and demand for ICT by creating face-to-face -face and virtual le learning spaces. Um, for this, they have, uh, like Colombia has um, developed many internet access centers and technical centers and has also um, started developing screen reader software for blind people. Um, and has also established uh, several training programs. Um, this way they are trying to um, reach us like around 500,000 people, especially with, lo in, with low income, persons with disabilities and um, other ethnic minorities. Now number two, we're moving to a very different part of the world, to Europe, to Germany, and we present an innovative model on uh, mapping interactively um, a whole city for wheelchair accessibility. Thank you. So wheel, uh, wheelmap.org is um, an online tool basically which indicates whether or not um, a location is wheelchair accessible and it works like Wikipedia or similar to Wikipedia where people help um, to collect and update information and about accessibility in places and feed the platform basically. For the third model we move to Australia and we move in the middle of a classroom. Thank you. So Access Innovation Media from Australia has created a project called the Visible Classroom, which uh, offers possibility to support uh, students with hearing impairments. How, they do, how do they do it? Um, uh, they do it by providing them with live transcripts and uh, captions during the lessons. And uh, at the same time, teachers are equipped with uh, real-time feedback and uh, that allows them to continuously improve the way of teaching. Number four is um, the, here we have two projects uh, that are supporting uh, persons with severe disabilities who are not able to use their uh, hands or fingers um, to steer a computer. So first one is from Austria, it's called Integra Mouse and Integra Mouse is a tool where people uh, can operate a computer, a computer mouse by using their mouth, their lips and their breath. The other one is Iris Bond from Spain, which does the same thing uh, with uh, people who uh, have only to use their eye movements to steer a computer. So number five is about e-learning platforms, two very different ones, one from France and one from Serbia. Thank you. So we have an e-learning platform from France, uh, which is called Ilesi, that focuses on people who live and work with persons with disabilities. And they, the platform basically educates them um, in uh, their daily, in the, like daily situations from persons with disabilities, uh, for example, in their workspaces or educational settings. Uh, yeah. Then we have uh, the e-learning platform from Serbia, which basically is a platform to educate uh, persons with disabilities and uh, on several subjects such as um, uh, languages or mathematics, science and other educational 
topics. The next project is uh, from Germany and it focus, uh, focuses on speech to text and sign language interpretations. It's a company which is uh, called Verbal Voice and they offer services for conference organizers, seminar organizers or even parliaments to provide them with subtitling, captioning and sign language uh, interpretation. Number seven comes from Italy. It's about iPads that are used for multiple information channels. Thank you. So Central Leonardo Education's uh, project uh, has developed interactive textbooks on vocational subjects for students with learning disabilities. Uh, they can be used on iPads and uh, the subjects are, are presented in multiple ways and offer, they offer a variety of learning styles. Number eight is a project from Pakistan which focuses on quality health care and counseling through video technology. Michael? The project is called Doctors um, and it's a, a video live connection between a doctor who provides quality health consultation with a patient who lives in a remo remote area uh, and who lives far abroad from uh, any normal consultancy and no any normal quality um, medical care that uh, he could normally or she could normally access. Number nine comes from the United Kingdom and it's an information system uh, supporting travelers who are blind or visually impaired. Thank you. Um, the project is called Wayfinder and it's a audio based software which can be downloaded on smartphones and uh, other devices. It helps uh, blind and visually impaired people to travel more independently, explore new places. Our last project comes from the USA and is an accessible textbook platform for all universities. The project is called ATN um, and it uh, covers already more than 100,000 uh, files that have been uploaded, um, working with more than 70% of American universities and colleges. Um, more than 100,000 students have already accessed files um, and it's free for everyone to download. 20,000 uh, files have been uploaded, so it's a, a huge project already in the United States. So this concludes uh, the list of our 10 uh, uh, researched uh, innovative practices that we want to present to you. Thank you all for your attention. If you want to know more, uh, visit www.zeroproject.org. And if you want to work with us or want to know more about us, simply get in touch. Thank you.